I would tell myself to do readings before lectures. Go to class more often. I would tell my first year self to always be true to who you are and don't let other people try and convince you to do things that you're not interested in and just be true to yourself and do the things that you love and that you're passionate about and once you get involved with things that you're passionate about you'll find other people who are passionate about the same things and you'll make a lot of friends and try new things. Make your bibliographies really big, even if you didn't use the sources. Uh, my advice would be not to stress too much about school. In the end, everything works out, and um, do your assignments ahead of time. Um, looking back, I would tell my first year self to get involved a little bit more, but to be able to uh, understand that you're paying student fees at this school, and that money is obviously going to the betterment of your own character, so make sure to take advantage of that. Um, that's, that's definitely one of the biggest things I, I'd recommend. I was going to say anything to my first year self. I would say to talk to your professors more and ask questions. Don't be afraid and don't be shy. That's what they're there for and they want to help you. That's what I'd say. I would say having all the material like come at you at once. Having midterms and then essays and then just everything just accumulates and it's really difficult so you really need to have like good time. Um, managing my time, there's just a lot of things to do. There's extracurriculars, then there's like the courses and compared to high school there's just so much more, such a heavier workload. So it's managing my time. The most challenging part of first year is pro was probably the first round of, the, of exams, I guess. Yeah. I chose to come to Laurier because I found that it was homey. I found that everyone likes to rock the school spirit and I wanted to be somewhere where I felt like everyone was a family. Uh, Mike brought economics in first year. And that's why because it seemed like a really interesting course. It seemed pretty easy. The workload wasn't that bad. I would say public economics was my favorite, uh, my favorite course overall. Um, favorite business course? OB, maybe OB. It was pretty cool. Yeah, a lot, a lot of psych in there. Um, the Board of Governors probably is my favorite. Why? Um, because. I guess because you get to work with a lot of the people in the university administration, so you get to meet a lot of them and uh, sort of learn a lot about politics of how to run a university and also a lot of life skills that will be able to apply in a working environment in the future. And it's kind of neat developing business contacts when you're still in university, so that you're sort of creating job prospects for when you get out, I guess. The one club that I'm proud of at Laurier is Access U. It's a club I started last year, and it's grown to be an incredible club. Um, last year, out of 130 clubs, we were number one. Um, we've done incredible stuff. We're helping children in Haiti receive an education, and we continue to do that every day. The favorite one that I've been a part of um, is the Laurier Ambassador Team. Um, we give tours to grade 11s and 12s and their families, and I guess kind of like convince or tell them how why we love Laurier and the reasons to come. Um, I joined Habitat for Humanity in second year and I've been a part of that for three years now and I'm now on the exec board and I've met a lot of really cool people who have the same interests and goals as I do in school. I would say probably like one of the weirdest interview questions is what do you think like, your weaknesses are? Um, I guess when you think about it it's really not that weird to ask that but you don't always you aren't able always to articulate like your own weaknesses. And so I guess my biggest advice to anyone who's applying for co-op and going into the co-op program, learn more about yourself. Learn more about your own strengths, what things you bring to the table, what things you can bring to a company, as well as what your weaknesses are so that you know how to improve on those and how to work towards improving those. So for example, for me, like I forget things a lot of the time. So in my uh, co-op interview, I, I was honest about that. I said I have an issue with, you know, sometimes I can be forgetful, but to work on that, I always organize myself. So I keep a book on on hand at all times and I check off things I need to do as the day goes on and it actually makes me more organization, uh, organizationally effective than other people who wouldn't actually think to do that. So I turn my weakness into a strength, it's what you should always try to do. 